First into the Save Well Spend Better hub today, 36-year-old Louise and 38-year-old Graham. Mum and Dad are two sons aged 15 and 17 and a daughter aged 11 who they just can't say no to. Kids are expensive. If the kids want something on a list for Christmas or birthdays, Louise, you might think, oh, it's a bit expensive, but they want it. It's the way it is nowadays. She doesn't want them not to have what other kids have got. We've got ourselves in quite a bit of debt now. It's at a point where it can't carry on. After eight years of buying things on tick, they've stacked up a staggering 17 credit cards. You know, it just annoys me that I work full time, Louise works full time, and we're still in this situation. How are you feeling? Um... We can't really talk about finances without it causing a, quite an argument. I'm just so... don't want to talk about it, and it just winds me up that I'll get wound up and then she'll get wound up, and it just it doesn't end well. I don't like talking about it, and that's maybe a reason why we're in this situation. No. You're never waiting for anything good, are you? <sighs> the state that we've got ourselves in, how are we going to get out of this? Emmanuel and Anne are going to see if they can help free the pair from their vicious circle of spending. So, what are the kind of things that have got you into this debt? What are the, what, um... Where's it going? We've got three children okay. and we've taken the kids on holidays and we've not been able to pay for that. So we've literally put the whole thing on the credit card every time. So when the next year comes, we just put it back on the credit card. And we haven't even paid the last year off. And what are the other kind of things? Christmas, massive amounts of presents each. And it's not just the children. Graham is a very lovely man who likes to buy lots of presents and who go very over the top. Is that one of the ways you show your love? Yeah, it is a way. It shouldn't yeah. be a way, but it is. Definitely his way of saying I love you. That love, you're going to have to show it differently. So do you have a sense of what the cumulative debt is that yeah. you're currently sitting in? We're sitting at about between 50 and 60 grand. OK. So you've got loans and so now credit cards? I've got probably eight, I think, myself. Yeah, and I've got a good six or seven, probably, yeah. We've got a lot of credit cards. Louise and Graham are not alone. Around 60% of us own a credit card, carrying on average £1,400 worth of debt. If you've maxed out your first credit card and need to borrow more, here's what you need to do. Best bet is to transfer your existing balance onto another card that has a 0% offer and a larger limit. But whether you qualify will depend on your credit score and income. If option one is a no-go, try consolidating your credit card debt into an unsecured personal loan. This could be an excellent way of borrowing more whilst reducing your monthly repayments too. As personal loans can have APRs as low as 3% compared with 20% on a typical credit card. But Louise and Graham's multiple car debt may require a more radical strategy. What are you two both afraid of about tr actually sharing the truth of what's going on? That we've failed at yeah, life. <laughs> this is just there, above everything, just like that cloud that just doesn't go away. I take things to make me sleep, don't I? Because yeah. of the stress. Wow. And so, yeah, yeah, you can't sleep. I've gone to the doctors specifically and they've got something to help me sleep at night. What's the cost on you? Uh, stress. Bad health. In January, I was diagnosed with kidney cancer. Um, I obviously had to have that removed along with my kidney. You're not going to be alone. 
We're going to put things in place. You're in, you came to the right place. Thank you. How much do you guys want change? For me, who knows how long, you know, I'm going to be yeah. healthy and, and able to be here. To, to think that that's sorted out for my family, for my children, for Graham, you know, it's... So looking at your numbers, mm -hmm. you're actually in, in deeper debt than you thought. You're closer to about 65,000 in debt. There are two roads of choice here. And so one is a really, trying to do a really radical debt elimination. We took all of your income between the two of you to just try and eliminate the debt that's there now without adding another thing on. You're looking at about 17 years to repay this debt, and that's what's so devastating. The other path is declaring bankruptcy and going the bankruptcy path? <sighs> Declaring bankruptcy is a big deal. It means you're legally admitting you can't pay your debts. Yeah, it's just a lot to take on board and... It just feels that there's that stigma. You just think that somebody might have been told by somebody else and there'll be all that back-talking and it just... Graham, I want you to understand. I see this all the time. There are so many people out there and you won't know. No-one's got a sign on their forehead saying no. that I was made bankrupt. When you told me that you had to take medicine to sleep, that told me that bankruptcy is small compared to your life. Yeah. Because how do you function? How do you think? How do you be a good husband, a good father, a good worker? How do you do that without being able to close your eyes and sleep in peace? You can't. It's impossible. I just, just want to be able to sleep at night on my own. <laughs> Get away from it all. It's going to be a life change. Because in regards to credit, right now, you're able to give the kids, if they want something, you're able to give it to them on credit. <clears throat> you won't have credit anymore. One of the greatest gifts you can give their kids is not money, it's financial skills. Because one of the biggest, biggest challenges where we see intergenerational money problems passed down. Yeah, I don't want them ever to be in the situation Jesus that we're in, no ever. Chance. Yeah. It's not a simple and easy choice. We've given you all this information. And so big decisions. Really big. That the two of you need to make. Like Louise and Graham, bankruptcy should only be considered as a last resort. Always seek professional advice and only proceed once you're 100% sure it's the right route for you. First, you need to complete a bankruptcy application on the government website. If the bankruptcy order is accepted, you will then be notified. Within 24 hours, your bank account, bank cards, cheque books and credit cards will all be frozen. So before filing, make sure you withdraw enough cash to cover basic living costs until your next payday or benefits come through. Bankruptcy status typically lasts a year, but can stay on file for up to 10 and affect your ability to get credit for up to 15 years.